you know sometimes i get very discouraged making my videos because it seems that i'm talking to the already converted huh, at all times you know people who are um, who have the same opinions as myself and and those who subscribe to my channel the only slight sign of hope is um, the new people who are who've been signing up especially recent military people who have finally seen the light of what is actually going on in our country in our government uh, and uh, around the world uh, so I will continue with these videos and in, in order to um, disseminate information that might not be out there for others to see the Washington Post had um, an article the other day it was published uh, Saturday on Saturday as usual you know when nobody listens US weighing readiness for military action against Iran a nation's the nation's top military officer said yesterday that the Pentagon is planning for potential potential military courses of action as one of several options against Iran criticizing what he called the Tehran government's increasingly lethal and malign influence in Iraq so <clears throat> this sentence alone should tell you something first of all these are unnamed officials um, named by our official press once again um, spouting off and preparing the American public and the public opinion for yet another war uh, which seems to be justified in views in view of the threat level um, now being imposed imposed on the entire country Admiral Michael Mullen chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff said a conflict with Iran would be extremely stressing but not impossible for US forces pointing to reserve capabilities of the Navy and the US Air Force now the Navy and the US Air Force have um, especially the Air Force have two things uh, in common they both have very great nuclear weapons capabilities to launch against any enemy whatsoever so you know that is the implicit threat here and also being touted by uh, presidential candidates in this race I would say that's probably very counterproductive to world peace but then again you know who who listens to ordinary citizens these days in a speech on Monday last week Gates said that Iran is hell-bent on acquiring nuclear weapons he said war would be disastrous but added that military options must be kept on the table given the destabilizing policies of the regime and the risks inherent in a future Iranian nuclear threat now any ordinary person listening to this rhetoric is probably aware that any nuclear exchange in the Middle East will result most likely in World War III and 
to keep that option on the table is probably a bit counterproductive to humanity as a whole. And most people recognize this, but of course our voices are hardly ever heard, except for unnamed ex-military officials nowadays. I can also tell you that uh, the Union of Concerned Scientists came out with a study a few months back that if even a minor limited nuclear attack is launched against the Iranian city of Ephraim, which is where most of this technology is uh, being researched, will result in approximately 3.5 million people dead in that city after about uh, two weeks of radiation exposure. And not only that, but also uh, 35 million people dying after those two weeks in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in um, in India and other surrounding nations. So, you know, despite the economic impact of a limited nuclear war in the Middle East, uh, we can pretty much rest assured that our cities will be hit next with nuclear weapons because no other nation is going to sit idly by Why? while we're just running amok in that region. It's just not going to happen. So um, that's something to contemplate for our future here in America, if only out of self-interest, <laughs> not interest for others. Most of us do have interest for others. That's why we're still speaking out. I'm not sure how longer we can do this. Thanks.